Welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes Book Summary. Today we are going to explore the book, Adaptive Markets, Financial Evolution at the Speed of Thought, by Andrew Lowe. It is a book that explores the intersection between financial markets and human behavior. He argues that financial markets are not perfectly efficient and rational, as many economic theories suggest, but are instead subject to the same forces of evolution and adaptation that shape biological systems. He begins by explaining the limitations of the efficient market hypothesis, which posits that financial markets always perfectly reflect all available information. He argues that the efficient market hypothesis fails to account for the role of human behavior, including cognitive biases and emotional responses, in shaping market outcomes. For example, the author notes that the 2008 financial crisis was a result of a complex web of factors, including behavioral biases, regulatory failures, and financial innovation. One of the key themes of the book is the idea of adaptive markets, which are financial systems that are constantly evolving and adapting to changing conditions. The author argues that the adaptive markets hypothesis provides a more accurate model of financial markets than the efficient market hypothesis, as it accounts for the ways in which human behavior shapes market outcomes. For example, he describes how the rise of high-frequency trading is an example of adaptive markets in action, as traders are constantly developing new algorithms and strategies to exploit market inefficiencies. Another theme of the book is the role of innovation in driving financial markets. The author argues that financial innovation is a double-edged sword, as it can lead to new opportunities and efficiencies, but can also create new risks and challenges. For example, he discusses the rise of complex financial instruments such as mortgage-backed securities and credit default swaps, which played a role in the 2008 financial crisis. The author also explores the implications of the adaptive markets hypothesis for investors and regulators. He argues that investors need to be aware of their own cognitive biases and emotional responses when making investment decisions and should adapt their strategies to changing market conditions. For example, he notes that many investors have a tendency to be overconfident and to underestimate risk, which can lead to poor investment decisions. Similarly, the author argues that regulators need to take a more adaptive approach to financial regulation, as traditional regulatory frameworks may not be sufficient to keep up with the pace of financial innovation. For example, he suggests that regulators should focus on monitoring systemic risks and promoting transparency rather than trying to micromanage individual financial transactions. One of the most interesting aspects of the book is its exploration of the parallels between financial markets and biological systems. Lowe argues that financial markets can be thought of as complex adaptive systems, much like ecosystems or immune systems. He notes that financial markets are subject to the same forces of evolution and adaptation that shape biological systems, and that the principles of evolutionary biology can be applied to understand how financial markets function. Overall, Adaptive Markets is a thought-provoking exploration of the intersection between financial markets and human behavior, with numerous examples that illustrate the book's key themes. The author's Adaptive Markets hypothesis provides a compelling alternative to the efficient market hypothesis, and his analysis of financial innovation and regulation offers valuable insights for investors and policymakers alike.